Miracle Moo claims to quote, support immune health, gut health, muscle recovery, and overall health. A very similar competing product named Armra simply claims to be a quote, revival of your health, with vague references to improving immunity. While these generic claims may sound impressive on the surface, is there any substantial evidence to support them? Let's cut through all the hype and take a hard look at the research behind these products to figure out exactly what kind of health benefits, if any, you can expect by taking these products. Both Miracle Moo and Armra share bovine colostrum as their main ingredient. The only difference is that Miracle Moo includes an additional compound called Immune Lin, which we'll look into later in the video. Bovine colostrum is the initial milk produced by cows shortly after giving birth. It serves as an initial source of essential nutrients for their newborn calves before the regular milk comes in. Compared to regular milk, colostrum has a higher concentration of proteins, including immunoglobulins, that provide provide passive immunity. Additionally, it contains lower lactose levels and higher fat content compared to regular cow milk. Beyond providing basic nutrition, colostrum plays a pivotal role in supporting the calf's immune system. Antibodies, particularly IgG, act as a shield, protecting the newborn against infections until its own immune defenses fully develop. While human colostrum shares similarities, it contains more antibodies specific to human diseases, while bovine colostrum typically contains antibodies tailored toward cow diseases. So does bovine colostrum have any evidence of health benefits? Well, it certainly does have some intriguing benefits for cows. However, just because there are indications of benefits in cows doesn't automatically mean the same benefits will apply to humans. While research in cells or other animals offer valuable insights into the potential advantages of a supplement like bovine colostrum, this does not prove its effectiveness for human health. Human physiology is complex and significantly differs from that of cows or other animals. To truly understand the impact on human health, we need to look at clinical trials with actual human participants taking bovine colostrum. These trials provide a more accurate representation of how the supplement interacts with the human body. So the real question you should be asking is, does supplementing bovine colostrum have any evidence of health benefits fits in humans. Actually, yes, but not the way these supplements are providing it. Allow me to explain. Let's start with the possible immune benefits since it's so prominent in both their marketing claims. Miracle Moo claims it can help with a healthy gut and stronger immune system. Research indicates that bovine colostrum can indeed be effective in treating gastrointestinal infections. Notably, it has shown promise in preventing and reducing infectious diarrhea, particularly in children. Studies suggest that daily intake of hyperimmune bovine colostrum significantly decreases the number and duration of infectious diarrhea episodes. There's also potential for addressing rotaviral diarrhea in infants and children, as well as HIV or AIDS-related diarrhea. There's also some mixed evidence suggesting that bovine colostrum may be beneficial in reducing the risk of exercise-induced respiratory infections in athletes. Those incorporating bovine colostrum during exercise training may experience a decrease in the rate and episodes of upper respiratory tract infections, although some studies show no such benefits. So, does bovine colostrum have immune benefits for humans? Kind of, but it's specific only to certain situations. The most notable advantages appear to be in the realm of gastrointestinal infections, primarily in children or those suffering from HIV. There's also some weaker evidence suggesting a potential reduction in the risk of respiratory infections in athletes during training. Could we now say that taking Miracle Moo will help with those specific conditions? No. That's because there are two crucial pieces of info I've left out, and many marketing claims about bovine colostrum supplements will also leave out on purpose. Firstly, the studies demonstrating these benefits primarily used a specific type of bovine colostrum, known as hyperimmune or immune bovine colostrum. This type is specifically developed by exposing cows to specific pathogens and contains higher levels of specific antibodies. This process enhances the immune boosting properties of regular bovine colostrum and makes it more effective at actually targeting certain infections. 
Miracle Moo and Armra, however, likely use regular bovine colostrum, lacking the specialized increase in specific antibodies seen in hyperimmune colostrum. Secondly, the doses used in these studies to prevent infections in adults are quite high, ranging from 20 to 25 grams per day. Taking lower doses of bovine colostrum does not seem to show any benefits for boosting the immune system. Therefore, the low doses of 2 or 3 grams daily found in the supplements from Miracle Moo or Armra likely does not provide sufficient benefits to boost the immune system and prevent infections. What about addressing other health concerns. Miracle Moose suggests that their product can contribute to clearer skin, thicker hair, and beautiful nails. But is there any proof to back these claims? Specifically, is there evidence supporting the idea that taking bovine colostrum supplements offers benefits for skin, hair, or nails in humans? Unfortunately, the answer is no. The most robust evidence for using bovine colostrum in humans is related to the use of hyperimmune bovine colostrum in preventing and treating gastrointestinal infections in children or those with HIV. There's also some weaker evidence supporting its role in preventing respiratory infections in athletes, as well as some potential improvements in athletic performance. However, it's crucial to note that beyond these scenarios, the evidence for any other benefits is extremely weak. Most claims are speculative and based on theories derived from animal and cellular studies. As we mentioned earlier, just because something shows benefit in these studies doesn't necessarily mean it will have the same positive effects in humans. But what about Immunlin, the other ingredient in Miracle Moo? Immunlin is a serum-derived bovine protein isolate, or SBI. SBI is derived from the blood serum of cows, while bovine colostrum is obtained from the initial milk of cows. What sets SBI apart from colostrum is its focus on delivering a targeted supply of immunoglobins. SBI supplements may help support the maintenance of gut barrier function. This can potentially be beneficial for addressing health issues related to gut permeability and certain gastrointestinal disorders. Research indicates that SBI can help individuals with HIV who are suffering from infectious or inflammatory diarrhea, improving symptoms and nutritional status in this population. Additionally, SBI has shown promise in reducing diarrhea and abdominal discomfort in people with diarrhea predominantly dominant irritable bowel syndrome. However, like with bovine colostrum, the effective doses used in these studies, around 5 grams of SBI per day, are significantly higher than what Miracle Moo provides. Let's sum up and address the big question. What health benefits can you realistically expect from supplements like Miracle Moo or Armra? For infants and children, it might help lower the risk of infectious diarrhea. If you're an athlete, there's a chance it could reduce your risk of respiratory infections during training. However, to achieve this, you'd need to take 20 to 25 grams of bovine colostrum, equivalent to 13 to 16 scoops of Miracle Moo. That's almost half the container every day. Now, if you're dealing with chronic diarrhea due to IBS or HIV, the SBI content in Miracle Moo could potentially ease symptoms and enhance nutritional absorption, leading to better weight gain. But again, this requires taking 5 grams of SBI daily, which translates to 8 to 9 scoops of Miracle Moo. With 30 scoops per bottle, you finish the entire bottle in 3 to 4 days. Beyond these specific conditions, the use of SBI and oral immunoglobulin supplements remain largely theoretical. There aren't any strong human trials that support the idea that taking SBI or Immunlin can address any other conditions outside of those specific gastrointestinal issues. Using bovine colostrum or SBI supplements like Miracle Moo or Armra for general immune support or gut health doesn't seem practical due to their high cost and limited proven benefits. I'd say that probiotics, which have stronger evidence for many of the benefits that Miracle Moo is claiming, is likely a far more cost-effective choice than trying to take bovine colostrum for these health benefits. While bovine colostrum and SBI have therapeutic uses in clinical settings, their infrequent use is attributed to the high production costs and the need for large doses to see any advantages. Trying to get a useful dose from Miracle Moo would likely require at least 8 or 9 scoops a day. And with each of these bottles costing like $60, you're looking at spending over $500 a month for some mild to moderate benefits that are far from being guaranteed. 
Is it really worth it? I'll leave it up to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. What are some of your experiences using Miracle Moo or Arm Rum? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know who use the info.